Good Friday thought for everybody. Um, I, I watch a lot of interviews with authors. I watch a lot of documentaries. I read a ton of books, um, you know, and, and I'm in my 50s. So I've been doing this forever. So uh, it um, one of the things that I, I find that comes up in, in some of these lectures, uh, even by authors and entrepreneurs and, and successful people is truly successful people don't feel the need to criticize others. They feel the need to help others. That's, that's part of how you become successful. Um, they may not give you what you, you know, if you got somebody working for you, you're running a company and somebody's not giving you what you need, you, you know, it may not seem like you're trying to help that person, but you really are because that person may not share your vision, but let that part go. And I know good ideas come from everywhere. I understand that. But what I'm talking about is bad ideas that need to no longer be around. Um, but one of the things that that also comes up that I think really resonates with me is I, I get asked a lot, you know, what's it take to be successful? What's it take to play in the areas you play in? What's it take to interact with the people you interact with? Well, it, it it's simple. Uh, work hard. Try hard. Um, take a risk. If you're not ever going to be successful, if you never take a risk, if you if you say, OK, I'm going to do exactly what I'm told every day, all day, I'm never going to have an idea. I'm just going to keep my head down and my mouth shut. Great, you'll have a job. But the success that you see that you say, hey, how did that person become successful? Or that person become successful. They took risk. Sometimes those risks pay off. Sometimes they don't. I've written books that have sold, you know thousands of copies I've, I've had some books that have had millions of pages read on kindle unlimited i have some books that have sold five copies and had like 12 pages read on kindle unlimited and i'm pretty sure that was my dad before he passed away uh so you know some things work some things don't you've got to keep trying persistence and making that attempt taking making that effort um and taking that risk are what separates successful people from unsuccessful people you're never going to find a, a wildly successful person that didn't take risk um now you have to take calculated risk and i can't i'm not going to say bet the house right but it um you do have to take some measure of risk in order to reach some level of of um uh, success so um just a little topic that popped in my head while i was watching a bunch of interviews from authors in the 80s and 90s and a lot of them kind of said the same thing uh, and they're all names that you would know, and I'm not going to go into the names just because they're my author list, not yours. So um, it, uh, uh, but they're all bestsellers. There's probably 15 of them I've watched in the last week or two, uh, and that those two themes kind of resonate. So everybody have a great weekend. Um, there'll be more videos dropping here sooner or later whenever something strikes me. Uh, working on a, a screenplay this weekend, working on editing a screenplay, and making progress on the next book in this series. So. Uh, everybody have a uh, great weekend, whatever you got planned.